Hello everybody, welcome to my video on my Conway's Game of Life Pattern Evolution program. Now, this was inspired by Kerry KH's videos on his evolution simulator. And since this was my first processing project, I decided to go for a bit of an easier challenge than to make these like fairly complex creatures, which is why this is within Conway's Game of Life. So, the way that Conway's Game of Life works is that you have a bunch of cells that are either alive or dead on this two-dimensional square grid, and according to these rules, cells either die or get created. So any cell with fewer than two live neighbors dies, as if by underpopulation. Any cell with two or three neighbors lives on. Any cell with three or more dies. And any dead cell with exactly three neighbors comes to life. And so it can make some pretty cool patterns. And you can get infinitely growing patterns, but since my evolution simulator is governed within a 100 by 100 grid, it kind of limits that, so you can't have continuous growth within that space. Now, when we start the program, we can go into a screen where we can play around with some of the settings. So we can change the number of generations it goes through. So on each generation, there are two patterns and it competes them against each other. And based on how many cells are colored in after this amount of ticks, so 103 in this case, that's how it decides who wins, and whoever wins gets to pass on its DNA, so it makes a mutated version of itself that replaces the loser. And then the competitions continue until this number of generations is reached. The pattern size you can play around with, I think that 5 is the number at which things start to get interesting. I think below that it's pretty boring. And then frames per second is just how fast it goes, pretty much. So we can get started. It actually takes quite a while to evolve patterns because it has to go through 515 generations and then 103 ticks for every single one of the contestants. So this is the pattern that we get and then we get to see it play out in Conway's Game of Life. And so I think that it was around 100 where it was measuring the highest number of colored in pixels. And so here we see quite a few of them colored in so we can tell that it's working at least somewhat well. Now, this does get really slow towards the end. It's definitely not going at 30 frames per second right now. I'm not entirely sure why that is, because this shouldn't be too hard for the computer to do. It's very simple. So I'll have to see why that's happening in future versions. All right, so now that it looks like it's come to a sort of oscillating phase in its life, let's take a look at the other controls. So once it gets to 1,000, which is generally like a pretty ripe age for these patterns, it'll go back to the beginning. As well, you can press the reset button if you just want to see it from the beginning again before it reaches a thousand. And then, if you want to restart, you can go back to the beginning and then play around with some of these settings a bit more. And that is my version of a Conway's Game of Life Pattern Evolver. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to try it for yourself, I have some download links in the description. It'll work on Mac, Windows, and Linux. So feel free to try it on that if you want. So thanks so much for watching and have a good day.